Let's go to Ephesians 4 and 26. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. So what does that mean? It is okay to be angry. But what are you thinking about? And what are you planning on doing? No. What are you thinking about and what are you doing? Let's say that you buy a car and you have $20,000 left on that car. Okay. Then you walk outside and you see that someone has keyed your car all the way around your car. So from the left fender all around back to that fender. Now that is going to make anyone angry. I know for myself it would make me angry. Okay, what are you thinking about? What are you planning on? No, what are you thinking about? And what are you doing? Let's say that you start thinking, hey, if I find out who did this, I am going to key their car. If I find out who did this, I am going to, I am going to hurt them. We can't think in that way. Thinking in that way is wrong. Let's say that you find out who keyed your car. What are you going to do now? Let's say that you come to that person and fight them, or that person, or people. Let's say that you slash their tires. That is wrong. When you get to the point, let me say this first. Some people do things to you, mean, evil, bad things to you, because they want entertainment. They are bored. Sometimes they are so miserable that they want you miserable as well. Does that make any sense? Uh, let me stretch. Okay. So, when you get to the point where you have no reaction to what people do to you when they are doing evil to you, sooner or later your enemies are going to stop bothering you. One of the many reasons why they continue to bother you because you are showing reactions. You are getting angry and they see you get mad. You are crying, and they see you crying. They can see that you are reacting to what they are doing, so they are going to continue doing it. When someone know what buttons to press, when someone knows what makes you angry, or sad or anything like that for some evil people they are going to continue to press your buttons meaning they are going to continue to mess with you when they know that you are going to react in a certain way does that make any sense like I said some people are just evil but when you get to the point where if a person says mean things to you and you act as though they don't exist, <laughs> for one, that is going to make them mad. <laughs> really, really, really mad. And sooner or later, they are going to leave you alone. I'm telling you. I am telling you. It works. 
Think about it. How much fun is it to argue with yourself? How much more fun is it for evil people to have somebody or someone interacting with them? So, a person who likes to argue, they can't argue with themselves because that is boring, right? What is more interesting for those type of people is to argue with other people because some people just love drama. Have you ever been around a person who just likes to start up mess? Like, they just like to talk about people and just be really, really mean. <laughs> I have been around people like that. It is really crazy. But really take heed to this. And stay away, if possible, away from those people. Because the less that you spend... Just stay away from those people if you can. I know that your mom or dad may be that way, your cousins or whatever else, and you may have to be around those people. But the less time you have to be around those people, the better. Because usually what I have found out, usually the people who like to start up drama, that like to mock people, that like to do mean things to other people, usually those people are really hurting inside the most. So they may seem very confident or um, like a popular person or something like that, but really deep inside, they are hurting so much inside so much because think about it if you were a sane person why would you feel the need to to pick on people to mess around with people like day after day you are constantly picking on people being rude to people I'm telling you, when you see people who are really rude and really mean, those people are feeling bad about themselves inside. Even if they show that they are confident or brave or whatever they show you, that is false. Because a sane person would not start up drama every day they won't so that tells you that they have issues emotional issues <laughs> i am telling you and the more people that i meet and that are that way it is true because a person i believe that we all have some type of issue but when you get to the point where you feel the need to like be mean to people or to have a crazy attitude like a very mean or rude attitude that is telling me that you have an issue an emotional issue a mental psychological issue does that make any sense? So, when you see things in that way, that is not going to make you feel as bad now. Because, <laughs> let me make this short. <laughs> I really hope all of this makes sense. When you see people out there, always being mean to people 
or starting up drama, they have emotional issues. So what they do, they take it out on other people. They take their issues. It is not so much that they are angry at you or whatever else. They are, they are angry with themselves. Does that make any sense? I really hope so. God bless.